Welcome to the recipe box. Can everybody hear me? I hope everybody is having a great day. <coughs> it's a cold day here. Thankfully, we haven't got any ice, snow. It's kind of a misty mess. Shannon says, let's get this recipe party started. Can you guys hear good? I hope you can hear. Nobody's saying anything. Awesome. Colleen says yes. So hello Colleen, Shannon, Brenda. Welcome, welcome, Miss Virginia. How is everybody doing? I'm sure Miss Virginia could probably tell us some things about the years in the past. She probably has some great recipes from back then. And things to share. She's an awesome cook. I wish she would go live one day. Maybe we can convince her to, Shannon. But anyway, last week we hit the 20s. And that was the depression started in 29. Um, the economy was roaring. It was doing great. But anyway, in 29... Everything kind of ground to a halt. But anyway, so I decided to do the 30s this week. And uh, Miss Virginia saying no, no. Yes, yes. Anyway, so I went and researched out in one of the main. Hey, Lisa, thanks for coming in. Uh, one of the main entree main dishes that came out and was made popular in the 30s was chicken divan and it came from the divan parisian restaurant at the chatham hotel in manhattan and it has since become an american classic it's quick it's easy it's really rich it has broccoli in it which i did try it last night and uh, I survived the first three or four bites I was telling Shannon this morning. But uh, I'm still struggling to like veggies, y'all. But anyway, my hubby liked it. Uh, my daughter liked it. And, um, but anyway, it had, I'm going to go ahead and throw up this picture if I can find it again of what I cooked yesterday I made the chicken divan and then I made potato rolls which were some of the most fluffiest lightest rolls I had ever ate um but the recipe was totally insane. I'll get to that in a minute. This is a crazy lemon cake, which it does not look like a lemon at all. It's a white cake, basically. But uh, in the 1930s, what they, they came out with what they called crazy cakes. Because eggs, butter, and milk were kind of hard to come by or else they were really expensive during the Depression. So they would just kind of come up with something with the ingredients they had in the kitchen so there's no milk no eggs no butter in this cake it's simply flour water sugar baking soda vinegar uh some extract and vanilla and vegetable and then you just went over the top with powdered sugar it was actually really good and super moist somehow don't ask me how so it's <clears throat> it didn't have 
the eggs and butter and milk and all that jazz in it. Um, I've got all my notes and I've got them all scrambled up. But anyway, they would just make those things out of scratch. There were several different flavors and they just had to improvise by what they had in their kitchen. So they could take their pantry, which was already slimmed down in size, and put something really good together. Uh, they say people are still making those cakes today, which I did. So, but anyway, it's because I researched uh, and found a recipe for it. Um, Food was a luxury for most people in the 1930s. The average annual income in the United States was $1,500. Today, the average, they're saying, is around $42,000 per year. Now, $1,500 a year, that's insane. Um, $1,500 a week is would be basically more like it, if not more. Um, now, on the, in these days, um, foods that became popular in the 30s, pigs in a blanket, which I know we still eat, cream cheese, mushrooms, and bunny salad. Uh, they were prepared, the bunny salad was prepared from a canned pear half. They were all popular food disguises, I guess, you know. To make them think that they were having something really special. Hello, Evelyn. Welcome in. Uh, Cherry's Jubilee was popular. Sweet potato. Marshmallow surprises. Black bottom pie. Which, from what I've gathered, is just a pie with a chocolate layer on the bottom. Or, thanks for coming in, Brenda. Or maybe just a chocolate filling. Um, popular dishes, chili, mac and cheese, soups, cream chicken on biscuits. I've heard of cream chicken. I've never tried it. Is anyone of, of you guys, have y'all ever tried cream chicken? Um, there's a lot that's changed on the American farm. In the 70 years or so, actually, it's more than that now. It's more like 90 years of the Great Depression, since the Depression. And it says, as a consequence of all the developments, that's why most farms now specialize in one crop, one major crop. Uh, because of the poor economy, they had... To have beef for breakfast was very uncommon. They had poached eggs, peanut butter sandwiches, creamy chicken for lunch, along with lemonade or milk, um, bread, fruit, coffee, granola bar, sometimes corn tortillas stuffed with fried eggs, and a chili, tomato, and onion sauce. Meatloaf was popular in 39. Um, various casseroles, hot dogs, hamburgers. In 33, the National Biscuit Company promoted mock apple pies, which is where they used Ritz crackers. I've never tried that. To me, a cracker would be soggy, but they used the crackers to replace the apples. Good morning, life with Belinda and Chuck. How are you guys doing? Um, you could get sliced baked ham in 1932 for 39 cents a pound. Four pounds of bananas for 19 cents. These prices are insane compared to today, you guys. Uh, a jumbo sliced loaf of bread was a nickel. 18 cents for 10 pounds of potatoes. 49 cents for 10 pounds of sugar. Chuck roast, 15 cents a pound. Spring chickens, 20 cents a pound. 
Uh, wieners, eight cents a pound. Peanut butter was 23 cents a quart. You can get two, two rolls of toilet paper for nine cents. Here is Shannon Wayburn. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> two cents, seven cents a tube, Shannon, and thirty dollars. You can afford to brush your teeth then. Do what? I said toothpaste was twenty-seven cents in nineteen thirty-three. Hey, I can buy <laughs> cheap. I can buy a stack of it. Oh no, Miss Virginia is making meatloaf for supper tonight. Oh, that sounds good. I haven't had that in a while. Two dozen oranges for a quarter. Three packs of Kellogg's Corn Flakes for a quarter. Cheese, 23 cents a pound. Cabbage, 3 cents a pound. I would love to have those grocery prices. I'd stock up on cheese. <laughs> Hi, Nisi. Hi, Nisi. These prices are insane. Gas was um, 20 cents a gallon. That would be so nice. 20 cents a gallon. That would be very nice. But I was reading where, um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just a food history buff. Y'all might be bored, but I love it. Anyway, I was reading where um, candy, you know, it's, it started taking off in the 20s. And in the 30s, it really, you know, kept going because they said people would eat that to help them forget, you know, the sad times they're going through. And it was just a way to cheer themselves up. They would try to divert their attention to something simple. And relaxing to listening to the radio, going to the movies. Um, I was trying to find Tootsie Pops come out, candy buttons. I, now, I, love, love, I love Tootsie Rolls. Um, yeah, I have got this stuff. Hi, Evelyn. Nick, Nick and Milk. I don't recognize that. Candy buttons. Never heard of it. Um, double bubble, Rolo, crackle bar, planter's peanut. Uh, the Boyer brothers started producing candy in their kitchen with the help of their mother and sister. They introduced to home people to homemade nuts, chocolate raisin clusters, chocolate covered marshmallow cups. Mm, sounds good. Um, I was trying to find. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Colleen. The 1930s was the era of Bonnie and Clyde. Hmm, I didn't know that. Little lovers. They said their story was love at first sight. And uh, they said when they, they met for the first time, she was making hot chocolate. So they fell in love over hot chocolate. Hi, Marsha. But anyway, I thought that was all really neat. It was interesting. Um, but I'm going to throw this video up here. Marsha says you look sleepy, Shannon. I am just sitting here and eating. I just got my belly full, so I'm sleepy. <laughs> this is those potato rolls. Now, this recipe me and Shannon was talking about this morning is was insane. The guy that I got this recipe from, and I couldn't find the cookbook. I didn't find it to link it to. I'll try to look later and see if I can find it. <clears throat> Called for six cups of flour. I told Shannon, I said this morning, by the time I got done with that, I had 15 to 16 cups in it. I had bread everywhere. Hello, one crafty Annie. This is my niece, y'all. My very first niece. Hi, one crafty Annie. How are you doing? Danielle. And Danielle. Uh, she said all three of my nieces say hello. Yes. I have two great nieces. Hi, Tiny Tim. 
But anyway, I had so much bread, but I had to put all that flour in it to even get it to where you could do anything with it. And it has hot mashed potatoes in it, uh, yeast, uh, a couple of eggs. But anyway, I just kind of sped it up. And did I forever more make a mess? Shannon teases me about my flyer going everywhere anyway. Yeah, wh hey, what is going everywhere? Flyer. I said it right. I said it right. I've been listening to you for the last... I don't know, 10 minutes saying flower. I'm working on it, trying to flower. get it. Thanks, Daniel. Hmm. Um, anyway, I had so many rolls. I had a big aluminum. Oh, wow. Pan. I had two pie pans. I have still had dough left. I finally just made it into two loaves and cooked it that way. I was giving so much bread out yesterday. They were really light and fluffy. Um, I bet they were good. They were if somebody could catch our little visitor there. Um, Kayla was like, Mom, they're bland. But uh, some bread is bland. But it was, it was, I love the texture. It was really, really good. But needless to say, I, I didn't pinch them off. You know, thanks, Anna. Love you. And, um, I just cut them out like biscuits. But now we're moving on to the cake. I'm getting distracted. Sorry, y'all. Um, this cake, you're using a nine, an eight by eight. You grease it down and you mix everything in this cake pan. All of it's mixed together. All the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, I think somebody got him, Tim. I, I removed it. Did you catch the, the troll, Shannon? Thank you. Um, it has flour. I think it was a cup and a half and three tablespoons. And then a cup of sugar. And I think a teaspoon of baking soda. Maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. And you just stir it all together, make you about three wells. And uh, thank you, Virginia. I'm getting old. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> uh, big four or five today. I'm ancient. <laughs> it's okay, Shannon. Your day's coming. I'm right behind you. You're right behind me. Hi, Dodie. Hi, Dodie. Um, you added, I added vinegar there and then some lemon extract and vanilla. And then I think it was five tablespoons of oil. Thank you, Evelyn. And uh, it was a really simple cake. It was pale though. It didn't. It didn't. <coughs> yes, Colleen. Today's my birthday. Turn into old lady. Um, it was a white cake, and uh, but it had the lemon flavor. You just pour a cup of water over all of it, mix it all up till it's smoothed out. Put it in the oven for like thirty-five minutes, and put some powdered sugar on it. Hmm. Marcia, I have. Oh my god, I'd have to think. I have two, five, six, seven. I'm hoping I didn't miss anyone. I have seven great nieces, I think. I'm going to have to read them. Yeah. That's not, and I have two. Three great nephews, I believe. Virginia says we're babes in the woods. Babes in the woods. <laughs> uh, Marsha, I am 45 today. Your pan looks years young. Yeah. Your pan looks sloppy when it comes out of the oven, but 
From what I've read, there's several flavors to this cake. This type of cake. But anyway, now we're going to move on to the chicken. And you can see my pan rolls there in the background trying to rise. But the chicken was fairly simple. Thank you, Colleen. Marcia says she will be 60 next year. The big 6-0. Oh. What month is your birthday, Marcia? Y'all running around in my bare feet. <laughs> Terrible. Thanks, Nisi. I hope you're feeling better. I know you've been sick. I made a mess on my stove. It's hard not to make a mess. Yeah. September. Oh, okay. Uh, making a mess is my specialty. I went to take that pork one out of the air fryer that I'd done. What day was it? What day do we meet? Tuesday. Yeah, I did the pork one when I got home from meeting Shannon. And uh, youngish, I'm the only old, I'm the old lady on the channel, Virginia says. <laughs> no, she's actually young because she gets around great. So I say she's young still. Yeah. She does awesome. <clears throat> We're coming after you, though. We want you to go live with us one day. One of these days, I hope to meet her. One of these days. Me too. Huh? I said, me too. We got Colleen over here to the States, and Miss Virginia cook us up some frog legs. Happy early birthday, Evelyn. Yeah, happy early birthday. That looks good, Sherry. I would love that. Well, after you add that first, you save half of the sauce and then you go back and add about a half a cup of grated Parmesan to it and let it melt down and then pour the rest over it. And so I'll is that like a gravy? Yeah, kind of. Um, I've got it sped up, y'all. The actual video will premiere at noon. So once we get done here, the actual thing in real time. Sort of kind See, of. you can add, you can make a cheese sauce. Yeah. And add over that too. And <laughs> I said, yeah, frog legs for calling. Me and frog Shannon. Frog legs, frog legs. legs. <clears throat> Me and Shannon have chicken legs. Colleen can have the frog legs. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I forgot what I was saying now. Um, oh, it would be really good over rice. Yeah, I like rice occasionally. Um, mostly white rice. I don't do brown rice. I wonder if you could actually put it over pasta too. Mmm, that'd be pretty good. I think I like pasta. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> Colleen's like, no, she's gonna be inspecting her food well when she comes over here. You just wait, Colleen. <laughs> we was talking about you yesterday. I think it was. Yeah. We're going to get you some good old treats. Uh, Marsha had multiple meal. Now she's ready for lunch. What am I serving? <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to go head to town. So it's probably going to be, what are they going to serve me today? <laughs> I love Malto meal. I had that growing up. I had that growing up all the time before school. And I yeah. haven't had any in a long time. You're going to go buy some. I know what you're going to do. You're going to go to Walmart and buy you some malt meal now. I've been eating oatmeal, but I want some malt meal. I well, love it. My downfall for those, malt meal, grits, cream of wheat, oatmeal is butter and sugar. Well, I do add that. I don't want salt. I don't want cheese. I don't want pepper. I want butter and sugar. I add butter and sugar and a little bit of milk. Just to cool it down a little bit. But um, 
Yeah, I don't do grits. Now grits are good. Never have. Never have. Um, I got yeah. a funny story about my niece, and she'll probably kill me if she listens to this. But uh, she had never had grits. One of my nieces, I've got several. But she had never had grits. So they asked her, they fixed them one time, and they said, do you want to try these grits? And her response was, yeah, I'll try one. <laughs> I'll try one. <laughs> she, she didn't know what they were. I'm about that. To this That's day. funny. Uh, Danielle said egg noodles. Dodie said, uh, I'm missing these comments. Alfredo. Tim says frog legs taste like chicken. I've heard that a lot. Virginia's I never heard of it. Uh, Virginia says no hot cereal or grits for her. I mainly go ahead. I mainly eat it in the winter time, um, but not in the summer. Now I'll tell you who else is a good cook on here, and that is Danielle. Danielle can cook. And uh, she can cook some uh, an awesome um, Mexican dish, pasoli. What is it? It's called pasoli. I think I'm saying that right, Daniel. I've never heard of it. It's really good. You can pour it over chips or. Tim says the old fashioned rolled oats with cinnamon and, and a banana oatmeal. cut up in. That's what's for breakfast. That sounds good. Evelyn told Colleen to um, make sure her frog legs were lightly breaded and fried with jalapenos. She says she don't eat frog legs. They just they're just teasing. Her. <laughs> we're we're trying to get her over here to the states. <laughs> she might not come now. <laughs> she might be like, no. <laughs> she said I would never eat that to save my life. <laughs> We love giving Colleen a hard time. Marsha says she wants to see frog legs jump in the skillet. Well, if I see something jump in the skillet that I'm cooking, like it's alive, I'm not going to be eating it. It's probably going to get cooked until it's absolutely black. And, yeah. It's probably going to end up in the floor with me. <laughs> it's going to be done right then because I'm not going to eat nothing that's moving. <laughs> yeah. I'm not either. It's going to be good and crispy by the time I get done with it. Um, Marsha says she's gained almost all the weight back that she lost. Well, Marsha, I did too. Don't feel alone. I worked so hard last year. And I gained it all the way back. Danielle's going to kill me if she's still on here. But anyway, she already knows that. Uh, I'll we'll have to start all well. All <laughs> she's well. on here. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know if she's saying that's the right way to say it or I'm dead. <laughs> oh, the muscles contract as they cook. Oh, I would have a real problem with that. Virginia said, then you don't eat crabs. No, ma'am. I don't eat crabs. Brandy from Wobble Family Adventures tried to get me to try crab a while back and I wouldn't do it. I've had crab salad, but I've never sat down and just eat crab, you know, at a seafood place. I just like fish, um, pretty much. I don't do all the other stuff. Well, I like shrimp, fried shrimp. Yeah, fried shrimp. Occasionally I tried, grilled. Uh -huh. Occasionally grilled. Now, I did buy some shrimp that I'm going to try to do, like a shrimp scampi or a shrimp something that's a healthier thing for me to eat high protein whatever but um i haven't cooked it yet i get all these good ideas and all these healthy ideas and try to do it right and i buy it and then it sits in the fridge or it sits in the cabinet or it sits in the freezer because i'm scared to touch it well come and eat with me sherry <laughs> come, no. come, come and eat with me because you won't have no. anything else to eat <laughs> I'm not eating zucchini. You have to eat it. 
<laughs> you have to eat it. Ooh. I'll treat you like a child. Eat yeah. it or go to your room. Yes, you would. <laughs> oh, y'all should have seen us yesterday. I don't know if y'all caught. Y'all might have caught part of it. I'm not sure how much of it showed, but we were having some bad technical difficulties. <laughs> yes. We were both panicking trying to get Chatterbox to go live, and we done it together for the first time. And uh, as far as like together, together, we met and had lunch. But um, yeah, it was not cooperating. No, <laughs> my phone and my computer was not cooperating together like normal. And then we if I wouldn't it. had been in a rush, it would have worked out probably. Did it just post? Huh. I was supposed to post at noon. Oh well, we all right. Um. Anyway, we finally got it hooked up on my phone, and then about the time we got going on my phone, it popped up on Shannon's computer. <laughs> it popped up on my computer, and y'all, whenever the live stream was over, I could not get service on my phone. I'm like, what in the world is going on in my with my phone? I couldn't Google anything. I couldn't do anything. It took me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to figure it out. Somehow, my cellular data was turned off in the meantime while we were trying to get everything connected. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to go by Verizon and get them to help me. And then, and then I would have felt dumb when I got there. <laughs> what happened is in our panic of trying to get that, we probably turned that cellular data thing off. Probably did. Thought I was turning on something else or whatever. Yeah, it may have been me because we were both working on your phone. There's no telling. I don't know what we did. We were like freaking out. But anyway, um, Colleen says frogs are nasty. Jamaica, in Jamaica, Evelyn and my daughter say it's the same in the States. And down on lower... Uh, Tim says, Colleen, truly they're like chicken wings to me. So maybe our frog here are more sophisticated than the one down there. <laughs> she might actually yeah. like them if she tried them. I mean, she may not try them, but yeah. or she probably won't try them. <laughs> she may actually like them. She wants lobster and shrimp when she comes to visit. Seafood straight. Hey, we can hook you up with some lobster and shrimp. I just cannot do boiled shrimp. No. And um, what is the sauce? Uh, oh, my mind just went blank. Mine my mind went blank, but it's uh, I can't. Sweeter than ketchup. Are you talking about yeah. the shrimp sauce? Yeah, the cocktail sauce. I can't do cocktail yeah. sauce. It's nasty. Ugh. I don't no. Like it. Mm -mm. Fried <laughs> shrimp or no shrimp? <laughs> For and I have got it mixed up before, thinking it was ketchup, and it grossed me out. Oh well. I actually tried it. I knew what it was. I tried it, but I was like, no, can't do that. Yeah. No. Danielle, but, you're still on here. I did video it. She asked me if I sent it to you. She would have killed me, but I didn't. Kayla actually tried salad the other day. Yeah. And it wound up in the garbage can. <laughs> Y'all, I could almost live off a of salad. Uh, I love salad. My husband is the only one that will really eat salad here. I now, love Danielle, salad. Uh, Danielle says we should try spinach. She said spinach is better than lettuce. I haven't tried that. I yet. love spinach. Yeah, I buy the spinach and I make a salad out of that too. I guess she said that's a different texture or something. I boil me some eggs. I have me, whenever I want something kind of quick, I boil me some eggs and I've got some frozen um, chicken strips that I put in my air fryer cut that up on top of it yeah that's good stuff yes evelyn catch up all the way anyway it's 11 34 and evidently virginia says she's a carnivore <laughs> colleen's trying really hard to love vegetables yeah they have to i mean you just have to love them or are really not you know i mean some of them um, I love asparagus, and at first I was not sure about them, but they have grown on me, and I love asparagus with um, mozzarella cheese, 
Melt it on top of them. I've never tried asparagus. It's good stuff. I don't know if you would like it. It's got a kind of a weird taste to them, but I just like it. Huh. Now you can take uh, frozen or fresh green beans and put a little bit of olive oil on them. Sprinkle them down with some like salt, pepper, garlic, shake some Parmesan on them. Put them in the air fryer. And uh, they're really neat like that. I bet it is good. And, uh, I want to try grilled asparagus, Evelyn. I've not had that, but I would like to try it. But I'm going to have to grill them myself because Roger sure isn't going to eat them. <laughs> when, when Shannon goes home, she turns into a veg head. <laughs> I sure do. I sure do. I get my veggies in for sure. Because Roger's a meat eater. Um, he's a meat eater and he just won't, you know, eat what I like. So I just fix it all when I'm home alone. We crack her up with our dislike for lettuce. But she does prefer spinach salad. She says it digests better too. Oh, I love lettuce or spinach. I'll take either as long as, you know, it's fresh. Yeah. Shannon, when Shannon comes home from Port Arthur, she cooks all these dishes and it's all these veggie dishes. And she goes home to Roger and she cooks all the good stuff. <laughs> all the cookies yeah. and pies. and <laughs> Yeah, when I go back to Roger, yeah, it's cookies, pies, or uh, hamburgers, or you know, and I hear I'm just sitting here eating, trying to eat, eat as healthy as I can. But then I just <laughs> go back downhill when I leave. <laughs> oh, that's great. Asparagus with hollandaise sauce is amazing. Uh, I, I love, um, instead of having a hamburger, I love having a, a hamburger steak with grilled yeah. onions on top. Now, if I'm going out to eat or we're going out to eat, I will order me a hamburger steak every time, just about. Um, I mean, we can even be going to a steak house and I won't order a steak. <laughs> Have you ever made uh, Juicy Lucy's? I've never heard of it. I've done a video of that. Oh, it's been several months ago. You make... A bottom hamburger patty, not very thick. Then you lay cheese, whatever kind of cheese you want, and then you make a top hamburger patty, not very thick. Put it out over that, seal it all up, and fry it. Or Roger would like that. I smoked it, and uh, and then when you bite into it, the center is filled with melted cheese. And Roger would love that. So they're really good. Just make sure you've got a good seal on your meat. <laughs> he likes those double meat cheeseburgers, and I just, I can't even um, eat all of that, you know. I, I, but I like burgers occasionally, but not all the time. Yeah. It just really started sleeting here bad. I'm hearing it. I don't know. We may not get nothing. You might just be snowed in, Shannon. Yeah, I'm not planning on going anywhere, so I'm good. <laughs> um, Tim is still trying to convince Colleen. Frog legs or meat, Colleen? I've never heard of, however you say that, Holland, holiday sauce. I've never, I've heard of it. I've never tried it. What's, what, how do you make it, Daniel? Never heard of it. But y'all, grilled corn on the cob is amazing. Smoked corn on the cob in the smoker. Really? I don't know. I had that. I did too. I want to try grilled. I'm going to have to sweet talk Roger into fixing me some of that. You know he ain't going to touch it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if he's not going to eat it, he's not going to touch it. Uh, and um, grilled onions and jalapenos. 
I can't do jalapenos. They, I mean, I just can't do hot stuff unless, you know, I, t I like jalapeno poppers, but all the seeds have got to be out and I just scrape it, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it and try to make it not so hot, but I can do a few, but I'm weird on my hamburger steak. I do not like the gravy, just the grilled onions. That's it. I like it plain. I'm a plain Jane. Um, uh, Danielle, what all goes in the holidays? Do you know? Offhand? I'm going to have to have her come on the recipe box. Yeah. Um, never heard of mutton, Colleen. I've heard of mutton. Isn't that, um, lamb? Or am I thinking of something else? Is it not? I'm thinking of mutton busting at the rodeos. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh, Colleen's going to eat pig tail now. Maybe that's what she actually means. Yeah, Tim says sheep. Sheep. So there's a difference in sheep and lamb meat, I guess. I've never had lamb. Lamb is good. I've had it once. My aunt fixed it, and it was really good. But that's the only time I've had it. Mutton is lamb or goat meat in Jamaica. Huh. I've never had. Danielle's made homemade, but she usually hits the easy button and uh, buys them a formic pack. It's the yellow sauce that is on top of Eggs Benedict. I've never had Eggs Benedict. I haven't either. I've never had it. Something about when they cut into that egg yolk and it just goes. Pfft. I'm done. <laughs> I want my egg hard fried if I'm going to eat it fried. Or no, you don't like it? You don't like the middle runny? No. Oh, I do. When I make yeah. a deviled eggs or even put it in tuna, tuna fish or egg salad, honey, you can about beg your boots. A lot of the time, that egg's just going to go through the blender. The yellow is. I cannot handle it. I, I, I want mine no. over easy. I want mine over easy. I want it runny. It's so good. I could almost oh. lick the plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to have it over easy. Like if I have biscuits, I sop it up with the biscuits. Oh, yes. Good stuff. <laughs> I love liver too, Colleen. And a lot of people do not like liver. Ooh. I love fried liver. I was going through yesterday when we sat down and talked about, because next week I'll do something from the 1940s. Uh, Danielle said back to the holidays, basically eggs, a little lemon, a touch of Dijon mustard and butter. Um, we were sitting down eating. And so I was talking to Marlon and Kayla and I was like going through, okay, here's what was popular in the 1940s. And Kayla's like, um, I'm just not going to be eating from the 1940s. It was like meatloaf, which me and Marlon are the only ones that will eat meatloaf here. Liver loaf. Uh, spam. I like spam. Uh, Jello salad. What they called Jello salad, what they were showing was when they layered it in the bowls, you know, the different flavors and colors and all that. I guess they consider that a Jello salad. Um... I don't even remember. It was a hot dog salad. I don't know. Mm. Was like, oh. <laughs> that sounds weird. A hot dog salad. Well, I'm, like, I'm not sure what I'm going to be making next week from the 40s. I can, I can handle meatloaf, but I'm going to have to dig in and find something that's edible, I guess. <laughs> uh, Eggs Benedict is amazing. English muffin, Canadian bacon or ham, a poached egg, and then top it with a sauce. 
Uh, Marcia says she likes her yolk, uh, yolk of eggs. She loves the yolk of eggs as long as the white is totally done. Yes, I, my white has to be totally done. And even crusty around the edges is good for me. But, yeah. I guess scrambled eggs would be my go-to if we're having breakfast. Yeah, I think scrambled eggs. Um, Roger likes scrambled eggs, or he likes them like me over over medium. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. You ever ate kidney calling wants to know? Does kidney no. bean help? Yeah, I've eaten kidney beans. Kidney beans, Kim. <laughs> yes, Tim. Fried chicken livers are the bomb. Ooh. With some gravy. Who eats oh. gizzards? That's like. I don't do gizzards. Just liver. Things. Oh, it's so good, though, and it's good for you. Probably Ooh. not the fried part. Liver is good for you. Isn't that where the chicken eats all the gravel and it's like in its gizzard or something? Hey, don't tell me that. Don't, <laughs> don't tell me that. I don't know. Uh, Virginia, I will I tell him, Miss Virginia. No hats. No. Yeah, I could probably use mine today if I went outside. It's that cold. Yep. But anyway, guys. It's been you a got long. your premiere? Yeah, at noon. But Alrighty. I'll go meet my hubby in town after that. See if I can finagle a birthday gift out of him. I know what that might be. I'm trying to guilt trip him. <laughs> Are you going somewhere good to eat, too? Oh, probably. I don't, don't, I don't know if I'll go today because I'll probably wait on the kiddos because we usually do. Why don't you be I, going to Texas Roadhouse? I oh, know, right? Someone said, I got you a recliner for Christmas. Yeah, that I'm paying for. <laughs> he threw that one right back at me. Anyway, That's funny. That's I'll hilarious. Wait. I'll see what I come back with. <laughs> Wash your gizzards with vinegar, Shannon. Isn't gizzards more like a tough, tough type of <clears throat> part of it? I think that's why I don't eat it. Um, I'm not even sure if I tried it, but that's what I think. It's more tough. I could be wrong. Mm. I'll let you have all the gizzards and livers and shivers. Y'all won't take it. Okay. Anyway. Colleen said yes. So that's, that's why Shannon's out. <laughs> That's why I don't do steaks very much because they're just, they're too tough. And I don't want to chew on something like I'm chewing on bubble gum. <laughs> bubble. bubble. <laughs> you get a steak with a little bit of pink in the middle. Oh, no, no, no. Little, just a hint. And it's juicy and tender. That cow cannot still be mooing. No. <laughs> it's got to be done for me. Thank you, Evelyn. Well done for me. <laughs> Just a hint of pink. You'd be surprised at the difference. Roger likes his. Just browned on both sides and that's it. Oh, no. No. Mm -mm. <clears throat> and he eats it with ketchup. Mm -hmm. It would like creep me out to think I sliced into that steak if it was just browned on both sides. And my tongue touching raw colored meat that was still cool. Oh, that would be uh, mm. but okay. just the thought of it being pink in the middle would make me sick. <laughs> it's, it's hot now. I'm not talking like reddish pink, I'm talking just a faint white, you know, yeah. not bad. Uh, Danielle says it'll be guarantees it'll be Mexican food, Roadhouse, or Longhorn. You know me well, my friend. I'm trying to finagle a laptop. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get. <laughs> Evelyn said hers better move when she pokes hers. <laughs> better move. Yep, that's Roger's too. She wants it medium rare. Yeah. I'll do mine medium well. I don't I don't go any lower than that. 
Tim's craving chicken livers. He's going to have to drive 25 miles in bad weather if he gets them. <laughs> I wish I had some, too, for later. Oh, mm -hmm. man. I can't get out, though. I wonder if Amazon delivers them. <laughs> yeah, too bad we don't have a... I'll send you a live what, chicken. <laughs> what you call it? Um, Strong livers. Gizzards, whatever it is. I can't think of the word I'm trying to... Uber Eats? Too bad we're too far out in the country to have Uber Eats. Marcia said, speaking of chewing gum, it reminds her of her mom's liver and onions. Tasted like shoe leather. <laughs> Gagged her every time she ate it. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, thanks for coming on and putting up with me, and thanks for all the birthday wishes. And yeah, I hope you get what you want for your birthday. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Shannon. Thanks You're welcome. Y'all have a good day. And we will Bye see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.